What is going on guys? This is Nonstop here and I got a game for you on Nuketown and this is a 15-0 game and it was a really good game for me. Like I uh it's not like my highest score ever, but I thought I just played really well. Like my decision making was just so spot on and I don't know, just going through with how I like how I want to play the map was just executed perfectly and I kind of wanted to instead of doing like a dear diary story like I normally do for my videos, I wanted to do like a I kind of wanted to break down what why this game was so good for me and I hope it uh doing this it might help you guys maybe uh learn something new and uh yeah I hope you guys enjoy so straight away guys the opening round I like to take for Nuketown is uh going down this left side of the map and even if I'm spawned on the other side it's I like to go down this side so it'll be the going down the right side and this is uh instead of going straight ahead from where you spawn because when you go straight ahead from where you spawn it's usually you're gonna find uh, a, a couple nabs landed on your head and it'll it'll be a lot harder to survive and generally for an opening route I like to uh, what I like to look for like in a good opening route is my ability to stay alive from going through it and uh, that the other one it just doesn't provide that and dying right at the start is it never it's not a good start to any game and it, it usually just makes me mad and I don't really play that well after that so yeah that this is my opening route and another good reason why I like to use it is because uh, kids on the other team they usually go with a straight ahead way and there's usually maybe one or two kids that'll go the way I like to go and so it's it puts my chances of survival a lot higher and uh, yeah it's those are kind of my reasons why this opening route works so definitely try and run it and you, I think you'll find success at it too so I threw two stuns right there and the reason I threw the two stuns was to stun anyone that was trying to uh, come through the side the side looking straight ahead from me or from the garage and the reason you want to do that is because you want to take the middle spot you don't want to really shoot at those guys right away you want to take the middle spot and lock that down lock down the middle area so this is a great example of why you run middle I get a nice little easy two piece here then I can come back to the garage and alley side so let's say if I, I stun someone at the beginning on garage and alley side and I just started aiming down sights over there I would have been an easy pickup for the guy that was rounding the corner there on the trailer side so yeah that, that's why you want to even if you do stun someone you want to you want to go right to the middle and check check your uh, like blind side there because because those guys are already gonna be stunned coming garage and alley side and so they're not even going to be able to get you so that is why you want to do that and there's always gonna be someone that's coming around uh, trailer and bus side so those are gonna be two easy pickups for you because you're already gonna be aiming down sides so you're gonna have all the um, odds in your favor and so yeah that's why you want to do that so for the first main portion of the game your objective is to try to push them back into their spawn so that's just basically just watching the alleyways and watching the garage and just picking them off using smart cover like I'm doing right here see I'm, I'm never really caught out in the open like uh, right there I was using the billboard as cover and uh, yeah I'm just using cover using smart cover the whole time and uh, yeah just trying to push them back in their spawns so as you see right here I turn around and I catch a guy that's coming up from behind on us and you're probably wondering uh, how did you know that, that guy was gonna be there did you sound horn or what and I did not sound horn I I can uh, through playing a lot of team deathmatch I've played a lot of team deathmatch I played team deathmatch is mainly since uh, Modern Warfare 2 and up to now into Black Ops so I've played a lot a lot and I know how the spawns flip in Call of Duty and I know generally when it happens and I just had the feeling right in the situation that it had happened and uh, it's kind of something you have to develop through playing a lot of team deathmatch because team deathmatch is isn't really similar to domination in the fact of how spawns flip all the time and it, it, it I think they flip a bit more so than in domination or objective based game modes but something you have to develop but one thing to look for is like where your teammates are uh, in relation to uh, the map I guess and I see that my teammates are kind of pushed back like into the kind of the backyard area on the side so and I'm, I'm not seeing any enemies fire at them right now so I, I just had the feeling that the spawns had probably flipped and it was a good idea to check check to be sure because if I hadn't checked in that situation I probably would have died so if you have the feeling that the spawns have flipped, definitely just check. It's not going to harm you because my teammates are like basically guarding the uh, other side there. So that's all taken care of. There's no reason to, I guess, um, worry about someone coming through that side. So just, just check and be sure. And yeah, just look for where your teammates are in position to the rest of the map. And yeah, you'll, I think you'll start to be able to predict when the spawns have flipped and be right on top of them when it does okay so now as you can see I have the blackbird I'm in a very good position the spawns are where I want them to be and now I can just go to work uh, 
basically uh, just killing them in their backyard area because when they're in the backyard you have just a total advantage like you see right here I'm I'm using this uh, alleyway as just a slight little bit of cover and I can just poke around just a little bit if you go around too far you're gonna be cut out in the open they're probably gonna pick you off and uh, even if you do uh, just take them all out you're probably gonna to swap the spawns and you really don't want to do that you just you just kind of want to maintain them in their backyard as much as possible and uh, just it's just easy pickings that way because if you do flop, flop the spawns it's it's likely that the, t the other team is going to move out from the the back area and you don't want them you want to keep them in like the worst position possible and that is the back because they have like no cover back there it's just it's it's very easy for you to uh, succeed in when they're in that position so now I, I move out of the, the alleyway spot because I, I see all the arrows. They're just starting to point over there, and I just want to I just want to move from position to position and just keep the enemy team off guard. You just want to keep them off guard, and just you, you want them to not know where you're going to be because that is how you have the advantage in, in the situation. You just, you just want them to be oblivious to where you are and just keep them off guard at all times. So as you can see, I stopped the game right here, and that's because um, I got that nice little two piece, you know. But I see you can see a guy right on the uh, mini map, and he's pointed right in the direction of the alleyway. So I have two decisions right now. I can either run out and try and confront him, or I can just uh, basically uh, move back, throw my grenade, and uh, just try try to have that as a deterrent to him. And uh, I do the, the route where I throw the grenade and I. I get the kill on him, so that is a smart decision. See, if if I would have ran out around the corner there, he's probably already aimed down sights, looking looking down that alleyway spot, and so the odds are all in his favor. And you never want that for the enemy team. You always want the odds to be in your favor. And uh, yeah, so I, I made the smart decision right there, and that's just something I want to stress to you guys. Always make the smart decision. Never have the odds be in the enemy team's favor. Try and just put them all into your uh, favor. So as you can see guys, I'm in the Chopper Gunner now and the game's basically going to be over after after this because uh, Chopper Gunner is extremely good on Nuketown and uh, yeah, but uh, something I'd like to say is I worked pretty hard in this video. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool how I dissected uh, how I like to play Nuketown and maybe how you should try maybe try some of the stuff I do out because it generally it works for me um, but uh, yeah I'm not I'm not gonna just keep doing these videos because I know it might be kind of annoying to watch but I, I think it's kind of cool to mix them up if you'd like to see more of these videos just let me know in the comments and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh, 15 on Nuketown and uh, see you guys later